Hi there, Chris here, another quick tip for you all. In this video, we are gonna continue our look at painting the Eldari Autark, and we're gonna continue on with doing them in this kind of Samhan type color scheme. As you can see here, we still have the you know, feathers uh, not assembled to the rest of the model, and I've done the inner feathers the same way that we did the armor. And so if you're wondering how that armor was done, you can go back to the armor video. For the rest of the feathers, we're gonna go with Abaddon Black. Use a little bit of the dampness of the brush just to uh, thin the color out just ever so slightly. And you can see here with the brush, I uh, shaped it into a bit of a chisel form, so it's kind of a flat edge, so that we can just simply cover each feather in the fewest amount of brush strokes, somewhat being kind of efficient with our, uh, our uh, paint here, as it were. And as you can see, we're just basically um, base coating the entirety of the feathers, and we're going to do this for the wings themselves as well once we're happy with a nice even coverage on there. Of course, uh, because I have the color thinned out just ever so slightly, you can see that we'll have to apply more than one coat. Next is Incubi Darkness. I'm gonna slap a little bit of this onto our palette and uh, we are basically gonna just use the dampness of our brush. We're gonna switch over to a detail brush here and basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna go about halfway to about three quarters of the way down the feather and draw the brush stroke out towards the end. And we're gonna alternate between every other feather, starting with that first feather on the forehead. Uh, we're gonna alternate from that point. And so every other feather from that way back, we're gonna give a little highlight here. Basically what we're doing is we're trying to keep the feathers stay somewhat dark, but kind of like how we had done the face. Uh, we're just basically just staying within that realm of this kind of off blue gray kind of color. Stick it on green is next. And basically we're gonna use our detail brush here and we are gonna go about halfway to about a quarter of the way what we had previously done again finishing our brush stroke out towards the ends of the feathers and of course we are alternating between each feather again starting with the feather uh, in the forehead and as long as we're consistent we will have consistent results and of course we're doing the same thing for the uh, feathers on the wings as well starting with that lead feather uh, at the very top and then of course we just alternate our whole way through as you can see there next is thunderhawk blue this is gonna be our final highlight here, but we're gonna snap a little bit onto our palette here and we're gonna switch off to a um, dry brush. Now, basically what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna dry brush the entirety of the feathers. Now, I'm not too worried about the black, the feathers that were left alone that had no color on them other than the black. As uh, I'm, the next phase, I'm not too worried about this dry brushing step um, messing with it. So I just really am only interested in capturing the, um, the feathers that we've already have a color applied, but we're not too worried about the uh, feathers that we haven't pl uh, put any color on. And so you can see here, we're just very quickly putting an edge highlight essentially onto the very tips of those feathers. We're just concentrating, making sure that we maintain a very light hand as we dry brush through. Next, we're gonna take my favorite stuff, liquid chrome from Molotow. This stuff is fantastic. Basically, I'm gonna have a disposable little palette here, and that's uh, what I use to, uh, you know, just contain the, uh, the color itself. It's a bit of a lacquer based paint. I use a nail polish remover just for cleanup. And here I'm just gonna throw a couple drops in. That's probably one too many drops actually. And I'm gonna use a detail synthetic brush here. This is a tackle on brush. Uh, I can't remember which brand it is. I think it's like um, Vallejo or Army Painter, one of the two. But very careful here. I'm going to begin coloring in the feathers that we initially had left black. And we're basically gonna work our way through. Now, we are uh, a fairly heavy saturation in the brush itself. And you can see we kind of make a couple little boo-boos here and there, but don't worry, we can correct that later on. We're not too worried about that. We're really just more worried about laying this color onto the uh, feathers. Now, the real trick of it is, is that when you are really saturating the brush here with the color, and when you're laying it down, you wanna capture it in, the, in one or two brush strokes. You don't wanna be going back and forth uh, with the brush uh, trying to work this color. And in fact, the heavier saturation on the brush and the heavier saturation you have on the model surface, the much clearer chrome you're gonna end up with in the end. This stuff really works really well when you apply a very abundant amount on the surface. As you can see here with the feathers and the wings, here we got a couple little boo-boos here and there, but that's okay, we're gonna fix those up later on. But you can see how nice and shiny that uh, chrome is. Here, I'm just really quickly just gonna show you guys how I just basically throw the thinner down on my palette. And then I just basically clean the brush off and just rinse it through the uh, thinner really quickly here. Uh, again, I really don't want to recommend using sable hair brushes for this kind of thing. I'd rather synthetic br bristles for that. And of course, I just quickly wipe up the excess um, 
pigment away. Next, I'm just going to come in with some Null Oil, and this is the gloss variety. This will sit on top of that chrome very well. Of course, I've left the chrome for about an hour or so. Uh, this chrome material uh, is best if you just leave it alone for a couple hours. If not, 24 hours is really, really the best way, just so that you don't um, put any fingerprints or anything like that on it, as this stuff, when it is still quite fresh, actually, you can mar it up pretty good, and it's, you know, it's a real pain to try and fix it again. You have to pretty much come back in, lay more chrome down, and it's just, you know, it's all around general pain. But otherwise, I'm just using this um, Nuln Oil to clean up the mistakes, allowing it to just create a little bit of separation. Because we're using the Gloss Variety, it's going to give us a nice, uh, you know, glow to the... Uh to the uh, separation between the feathers as you can see there of course everything else is all nice and blended in and of course now we have these nice little chrome feathers on our model all ready to go we're not ready to attach the wings yet but that's it well i hope you found that quick tip useful and informative you can watch another quick tip today on miniwargaming.com's vault just click on the link in the video description below to watch it right now if you're not already a vault member you can sign up for a free seven day trial be sure to sign up for the silver membership and that will give you instant access to over a thousand painting tutorials already in our vault and again thank you for watching commenting and subscribing and happy wargaming